everyone welcome to the session in this video we are going to discuss the suggested answers for mock paper 1 of business correspondence and reporting now in this question in this uh, paper guys what we have to remember is uh, when it comes to bcr my answers could be very different from your answers because there are topics like resume writing there are topics like letter writing there are topics like article writing and essay writing so it's very important to understand ki uh, everybody could have a different approach to this there's no exactly you know there, there is a little bit of flexibility there is a little bit of subjectivity involved but what are the key points that you have to remember what are the points that you should have covered in your answers the format that you should have followed all of that we're going to discuss it okay so question 1 now question 1 is compulsory after that you can answer any three questions from the remaining four questions now usually if you've done an analysis of the uh, mock papers and of the revision test papers and of the previous year papers you will understand that the first question generally starts off with an rc passage now a common question that students have is if the rc passage is this lengthy you know how do you go about answering the question should you read the entire passage now luckily guys most of the times what happens is the questions are very straightforward or the questions are very direct uh, so you can get the questions through reverse reading but it's always suggested to skim and scan the passage once reason being you're also asked to write a summary of the above paragraph so when you have to write a summary of the above paragraph you should have read the paragraph but guys try as, as far as possible as to get a gist or a summary there are certain markings also that i want you to remember you know how to note down the key points uh, let's let's discuss all of that okay more than ever before in a work environment that is both increasingly stressful and demanding having a healthy peer relationship is of utmost importance the entire passage talks about how the work environment today has become really stressful it's become demanding uh, there's a lot of workplace monotony or uh, boredom which has seeped in and in order to help with this you know it also it helps if you enjoy your job okay and have a healthy peer relationship we spend most of our waking hours at work and it is only natural to desire work environment again that's a healthy mix of fun you know you have work and that you have fun and there's no stress now what are the different ways in which this can be achieved because if you if there's a healthy mix of work and fun it will lead to increase in the work performance and personal fulfillment uh, now what are the different ways so first way given here is get togethers okay so you have get togethers then you also have fun weekends at picnic spots okay then you also have the next talks about annual team building events but it shouldn't be a single team building event it's very necessary that reinforcement is done through staff meetings and other discussions okay then at the same time guys uh, you know you have a college board in a pantry and advertising ideas so some sort of contests etc posters and comments in the office workspace getting acquainted with your co-workers hobbies or interests to build a rapport and mutual level conversation okay and guys so again so it's done you know to in order to foster trust and friendship among employees and encourage peer bonding you need to have a casual informal work environment annual marathons get togethers volunteer work team building exercises so the passage basically talks about the fact that today's workplaces have become really stressful and demanding to break through the monotony it is very important to have fun a combination of hard work and fun and uh, this will lead to enhancement of your work performance as well as your personal fulfillment and the ways in which this could be achieved there it is you've done your summary right so what we have done here is this is what is called active reading now let's see if you so just when you read the passage try and keep inferring what is the author wanting to say what does the author want to say what does the author want to say but yes you need to be careful not to include too many of your personal input no actually you shouldn't at all include your personal input into it according to the author the work environment in the present day world is becoming clearly very simple first paragraph it's clearly mentioned that the work environment today is increasingly stressful and demanding monotonous dreary tasks having a healthy peer relationship is of utmost importance so just a gist of the first paragraph would clearly give us our answer for the first question and give us that one mark so a uh, work environment is becoming both stressful and demanding healthy peer relationship is of utmost importance that gives you your one mark building rapport and initial see i told you the questions are direct you have keywords please search for the keywords it says how to build rapport and mutual level conversation among staff members go back to the passage you will clearly find your answer here uh, rapport and mutual level conversations by being acquainted with your uh, co-workers hobbies or interests you can see guys i'll mark the answers and you can see this here 
okay by being acquainted with your co-workers hobbies or interests outside of your workplace that will help that build that rapport that camaraderie that bonding easy answer for the first question as well uh, so then a word from the passage is generally taken and you are asked to give you the you know you are asked to uh, write down what is the meaning of that word in the context of the passage it's very important now when you say in the context of the passage step number 1 there are two ways in order to do this first you have to know the connotation of the word what is connotation whether the word is positive negative or it's a neutral word and then guys please break down the word into its root words okay this is something that we have done extensively during our sessions so if you look at the word monotony and how it's been used in the passage you will understand that it says uh an affinity and feeling of kinship or relationship or bonding with colleagues is what makes workplace monotony palatable palatable is something that you can tolerate okay so it makes workplace monotony tolerable now let's break down monotony we all know guys ki mono means one okay and tone so now one tone monotone what is monotone it's very flat it's very boring it's very repetitive there's nothing original it becomes very tedious so mono is one tone one tone flat voice you know let's say if i'm if i'm explaining this topic to you and i go guys i want you to remember that we need to know the answer to the questions in the passage we need to do reverse reading we need to understand that's monotone you know you need to, so monotone is very flat very boring very tedious very repetitive so it means boredom lack of interest in variety tedious repetition and routine now i've given you different suggested answers in simple words you can just use two or three words and explain the meaning of monotony and you would get your answers but root words is very important and this is one chapter that i want all of you to focus on then you have to write a summary of the above paragraph as discussed if you've done your active reading right every paragraph guys even if from every paragraph you take one main point you will be able to write your summary very easily so remember this every para one main point 10 paras 10 points five paras five points you will easily get it condense it make it crisp make it short avoid too many examples okay only the main ideas and your summary is ready so your summary should have included how the work environment is today you know it's become really stressful it's become really demanding how it's very important to uh, you know in order to enhance your work performance and personal fulfillment it's necessary to enjoy your work what are the different ways in which this can be done okay whether it's get togethers team building events staff meetings etc and how can you build that rapport and mutual level conversation so your questions will guide you because questions are framed around the main points so whatever uh, answers are there to your questions those answers should definitely figure in your summary and apart from that every paragraph one main point and you're sorted okay so this fetches us a very easy five marks now read the passage make notes using heading subheading so it's very important for us to make sure that we have the right format in place so please make sure that you have a heading or a title you have subheadings you have sub points and then there could be sub sub points the indentation has to be very clear 1a b c 1c point number 1 point number 2 and please make sure that you use a uniform format like for example if you're writing 1a don't say two uh, you know don't write two you know like a different indentation or a different marking okay it has to be the same marking key and abbreviations used any symbols used because it's note making it has to be condensed in nature let's understand the passage so guys uh, for your ease i have highlighted the uh, main points in yellow and the sub points in green uh, once you've read this passage you will understand that the passage is about fast food so it says what is so the title or the heading of our passage is clearly going to be fast food features okay every paragraph it's prepared and served really quickly you get sit down restaurants takeouts drive through and delivery okay it's inexpensive convenient it tastes good so categorize each paragraph you know that this paragraph basically tells us what are the features or what are the characteristics of fast food okay similarly if you look at the next paragraph it says there are certain foods that you should avoid which are high in sodium saturated fat trans fat cholesterol why it could lead to a lot of health problems then the third paragraph talks about that include healthier options which healthier options can you include so three paragraphs we can have three subheadings so your heading will go as okay uh, let me just clarify this a little further one minute okay this clearly does the one minute
there we go okay so your heading out here is going to be fast food because the passage is about fast food okay your first subheading could be features i'm writing it in whole you're going to be making your own uh, abbreviations and writing them in the key then they're going to be 1a 1b 1c you can write you know the points that we have discussed that it's inexpensive it is prepared really fast so these points okay it's prepared and served quickly available at many places inexpensive convenient taste good so these could be your sub points the second subheading is going to be foods to avoid foods to avoid okay that's the bad foods or the bad and then you're going to write down 2a high in sodium 2b saturated fat 2c trans fat 2d health problems so you're going to list them down and the third point and the third point the third subheading is going to be healthier options include healthier options okay there you go include healthier options and then again your 3a 3b 3c which are the healthier options which are light which are fruits and vegetables okay healthier choices on the menu that's it you just have to pick guys please get away. there is something going to be called as fomo fear of missing out oh i have to write down this point as well i have to write down that point as well please make sure that you contain that tendency don't make sure make sure that you don't write repeated points try to get what is the main categorization of the paragraph solution problem features avoid healthier options so the keyword and then your points are sorted once you've got your note making in place summary becomes very easy you just have to use the right you know just add the conjunctions and just add the words in between and just convert your notes into full sentences okay so fast food guys same thing fast food is something which is inexpensive it is easy to prepare it is available at many places however certain fast foods are bad especially those which are high in sodium content and which could lead to uh, increase the level of cholesterol and lead to various health problems it is better to incorporate healthier options such as fruits and vegetables with lesser calories in our meal done your summary is done once your note is in front of you the summary becomes really easy all you have to do is just give a title to it fast food and your question is done right so guys we need to be really quick about this correct so that's why don't waste a lot of time just your your eye for skinning and skimming and scanning should be really on point now the first chapter is very important for all your two mark questions what is para language networks of communication process of communication features of communication barriers to communication explain the term para language what is para language para language is something that assists language language is the usage of words but more than words sometimes your tone of voice sometimes the stress your pitch your style of speaking your interest in a conversation that communicates a lot more than the words used that is called para language so it's it's guys first chapter of the paper uh, of the book is something that uh, you know you have to don't memorize it i wouldn't say memorize it learn understand but it's a very crucial chapter please make sure that you have all the important points and there are certain important questions like para language which are repeated quite a lot please make sure that you have those answers ready with you select a suitable synonym dirt if i see de it has a negative connotation dirt has a negative connotation you have to tell me the synonym surfeited or surplus is positive both mean the same they mean abundant they mean abundant or plenty similarly plethora ple plenty okay abundant or plenty answer option is paucity there is a dearth of oxygen in our country right now there is a shortage or there is a paucity of oxygen in the country so dearth means shortage answer is paucity which also means shortage euphoria as a root word eu means happy right so if you say i'm euphoric i mm, topped the institute you know i top my college so you're very joyous you're very happy on the other hand milan milano means black i'm sure all of you remember the biscuit right milano so melancholy milano means black melancholy melancholic means really sad and depressed skeptical you're skeptical whether to uh, go to the picnic or not you're doubtful you're having you know second thoughts so skeptical means doubtful cred as a root word again means believe credible is same as believable but skeptical is doubtful it could be spelled as s c e or it could be spelled as s k e p t i c both the spellings are accepted okay write a pressy with a suitable title the standard rule for pressy applies reduce it to one third of the length of the passage 
Now the entire passage. Let's let's discuss the important points. It talks about uh, you know the worm enclosed waters of farm ponds. Uh, the main keywords, guys, is fish and how they are dying because of insecticides which are being sprayed. The reason why these insecticides rains and run off from surrounding lands. Then neglect by crop dusting pilots when they don't switch off their dusters and normal agricultural use are the ones that are subjecting the fish to these concentrations of insecticides. Okay, please make sure that you don't mention the statistics and you know a lot of the examples, only the main points. Okay, then uh, in some parts of the world where the cultivation of fish is in ponds is an indispensable source of food, it's an important source of food. The use of insecticides creates a lot of problem, for example, in Rhodesia. And uh, this problem has not been satisfactorily solved. So, in fact, so what are the points that should be present? Worm enclosed waters of farm ponds, fish lethal or deadly for fish because insecticides are being sprayed. They are being carried in the three reasons or the three causes. And uh, what kind of problems this is, this is creating, especially in certain parts of the world. And the conclusion, the problem is not being solved. You do this much, you will get your marks. But please make sure that you have a title as well. Now, the title that you give should reflect the main idea of the passage, which is negative. So, your title could be negative effects. Or, you know, you could use different words. Adverse effects of insecticides on fish. Correct? This could serve our title because I need to have insecticides, I need to have fish and I need to have the word negative or adverse. Or neg you can also say adverse impact. That's your choice. But please make sure that the key words are present. Don't try to be cryptic or don't try to be creative. Don't try to be, okay, let me come up with a really catchy headline. Nobody will even know what the paragraph contains. No, it has to be very precise. It has to be very factual. It has to be very to the point. Uh, it has to be, you know, I would say, guys, ki limit your creativity when it comes to titles. Stick to the facts, okay? The keywords should be present. Otherwise, you're going to lose that one mark. Come on, next one. Language barrier to communication. What are the language barriers? I may not know your language. You may not know my language. We may know the language, but the same word could have different interpretations or meanings in our, you know, in our respective countries. I may not be clear in my communication. Uh, you know, I may not be so uh, sometimes I may use very, uh, you know, uh, high funda words or high fi words, which you may not understand, you know, I may use a lot of difficult words, or I may use a lot of technical words or a lot of jargon words or unfamiliar expressions, idioms, which you may not understand. So that creates. So when it comes to any barrier of communication, when you explain, explain what is the barrier? What are the causes of that barrier? and how to solve that barrier. So how to solve that barrier by using clear, simple, easily understood language. That's it. That'll fetch your two marks. Mention any four characteristics. Uh, the floor is open to you. There are eight character, eight plus characteristics mentioned. Four C is the most important or the most easy, you know, the, the simplest ones to remember. Clear, concise, coherent and concrete. Change the following sentences to indirect speech. So guys, please remember the table. Okay. Please remember your focus should be on the punctuations. It should be on the pronouns. So the focus mainly guys is on the punctuation when you're solving direct indirect speech. Punctuation, the pronoun uh, conversions and the tenses. If you have these three sorted, you're golden. Karishma said to me, Karishma said to me that because when we remove the punctuations or the quotations, we would add the that. Correct? We would add the that. They will win the match, will changes to would. They would win the match. Shall, should, can, could, will, would. He said to me, I don't believe you. He said to me that, now he is the I there. So for us, it becomes the he. He said that he didn't believe me. Alok said to Tina that Dravid would leave for his aunt's place. Instead of saying tomorrow, Tomorrow, because I may be saying at a different time and Alok might have said it at a different time and Dravid might have said it at a different time. So tomorrow changes to the following day or the next day. Yesterday changes to the previous day. Correct? Simple. Easy. Easy three marks. Do attempt these questions. Draft a circular. Guys, if you get formal official communication, happiest, please attempt the question because it's short, less time consuming compared to a resume writing. A circular writing is much easier 
and less time consuming it fetches you that five marks as well make sure that you have the format in place subject title circular number date for name designation keep it short and simple and to the point if it's about a branch opening say this is to inform that a new branch that we are inaugurating a new branch named in this locality uh, date of inauguration purpose so and so that's it okay so just mention it should be very crisp it should be very clear it should be very concise please make sure that you have all the particulars if someone were to tell me that in my office a new branch is being opened what would i need to know i would need to know what is the name of the branch what is the purpose of the branch it could be selling the same models or you know what why have they opened a new branch what is the venue of the branch when is it going to be operational you get these four points in your circular great gray point gray point is nothing but you know informal gossip uh informal communication informal channels of communication wherein no guys hierarchy is not followed Im employees of different departments and different levels interact and meet it serves the purpose of building relationships you know what you call is water cooler talk right that is nothing but grape wine so uh, it's an important question again from the first chapter please make sure that you mention that it's intra you know inter and intra departmental communication it's informal communication popularly known as gossip and it why has it been undertaken in order to help build that rapport and build that relationship convert the following from active voice to passive voice again the things to remember are inversion of subject and object okay so in active voice subject comes first in passive voice object comes first make sure that you use the tense correctly okay a blue shirt was worn by him this changes to what he comes first blue shirt comes later okay now was worn simple past tense so he wore a blue shirt simple a nice house is had by them they first nice house later correct they have a nice house that's all okay so guys please make sure that you go through the tables and the rules carefully prepositions very important question i've lived in bangalore for 2 years when you say 2 years it's the duration so when you mention the duration or the period you have to use for for since and from you need to mention the exact starting point since 1945 from monday you need to mention the exact starting point but when i just have the total duration 2 years 2 months 3 days i'm going to use for write an article about the importance of reading please make sure that you follow the right format you at least have three paragraphs introduction body and conclusion in your body you explain at least five points talking about the importance of reading uh, the methods that we have discussed such as the viewpoint of affected parties and you know you could go through all of those methods for example if it's about the importance of reading the title will be the importance of reading the article starts you know 250 words is the limit introduction reading is an important skill uh reading fosters what communication etc a gist of what you're going to explain in the body uh it has many benefits it's a skill that we do not focus much on now what are the effects you know you can talk about readings impact on your uh, conversation in your personal life in your professional life from adults perspective from children's perspective so when you talk about you know it helps to build a good image it helps to communicate it helps to build your vocabulary it helps you build your imagination it is a good stress buster so guys please identify this is a brainstorming what i have done here is what you are supposed to do before writing the article so once you do this brainstorming it becomes really clear for you to write the article conclusion introduction and body is a must and at least five points to talk about the benefits of reading mention any or explain any two characteristics of communication clear concrete yes take up any two and make sure that you explain them in a very concise manner do not spend a lot of time on these questions first chapter you should know back of your hand correct meaning of the idiomatic expression to have something up your sleeve sleeve magician sleeve secrets hidden plan so to have a secret plan which will lead to success the reference point is magician to lower one's guard we all wear a mask now correct so that's our guard that's our protection if you are lowering it we are being careless we are uh, playing with fire we are being reckless we are not being cautious so we sh you know when we are relaxing when we should have been careful and alert so your answer option is going to be 
next one ravi was building a boat a boat was being built why being because the sentence is in ing a boat was being built by ravi next one so guys when you're talking about uh, you know writing a mail or an email the format is very important that is from to cc bcc subject salutation closing remarks you know dear mr neeraj regards mr arun designation it manager info solutions private limited format is very crucial half of the marks you will get if your format is right again since it's an official mail keep it short introduction body conclusion in the introduction mention the purpose of the mail this is with reference to or this mail is to seek a quotation for 100 new printers of model canon pixma 121 as we are in the process of starting a new branch of info solutions private limited in rajajinagar bangalore we require the order of the printers we require you know we wish to place the order for the printers seek the quotation ask them to mention the price ask them to mention the model ask them to mention by when the articles or the printers would be available the terms of payment and conclusion should always end on a positive note looking forward to receiving the quotation at the earliest and a fruitful business with you conclusion is always to be so introduction explains the purpose of the mail a body tells the particulars what are the details you require right printers so models model number color uh, resolution or you know uh, the terms of payment the price etc conclusion should always be on the positive note done so guys i hope that these suggested answers have helped you you have answered the paper in a similar manner If you have any doubts regarding your answers and how they are at variance with what we have discussed, you can always reach out to me, and I will be there to help you out. Okay? Thank you, guys. All the best. Take care.